Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a bonnet. This beautiful baby bonnet and the pattern on the side of the bonnet matches the blanket that we did in the last video. Now I did promise that I would show you how to make this bonnet. I know this one's blue but I'm going to show you how to make a pink one to match this blanket. I'm using a pink yarn that matches the blanket that I have. I'm going to do this hat in pink. This is a yarn for Tootsie. I got this, it was only a pound a ball and I got it in Wilco, the Wilco store that's quite local to me. This is a double knitting yarn. So you can use any baby yarn. You can use any yarn that you want. I'm going to start with a little slip stitch. You just make your little slip stitch or your first stitch the way that you want to. So I'm going to chain four. So one, two, three and four. So I've done my chain of four. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go into this first chain that we made. We're going to make a tiny little circle. So put your hook through that space. Catch your yarn, pull it through. You've got two stitches on and pull that stitch through that one. So now we have a little hoop. So inside this ring we've made, I'm going to put 15 treble crochet. In the USA, that's a double crochet. So inside here, in the UK, I'm going to put 15 treble crochet stitches. But first, I'm going to do a chain of three. That becomes your first stitch. So in all, we'll have 16 stitches. So chain three. That's your first stitch. Now, so what I'm going to do now is inside this little donut part, you've got the center hole. So this chain of three counts as your first stitch. I'm going to put 15 treble crochet into this hole. So 15 into this hole plus this one makes 16 stitches all together. So yarn over, go through the hole, pull your yarn through and finish your treble stitch. Now in the USA this is called a double crochet. In the UK it's a treble crochet. Just keep pushing your stitches round to get them in there, they will go in. And there we go. Now I've got 15 inside the donut plus my chain of 3 makes 16. So I'm going to go into the third stitch of my chain and do a slip stitch to join that together. So now you've got this. You've got this little wheel. What we're going to do now is we're going to chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to show you how to do this puff stitch up here. So this counts as your first stitch, this one here. So what you're going to do is, you're going to find the stitch next to this one. It becomes easier as the back of your heart gets a little bit bigger. Now, you're going to put your yarn over your hook and you're going to push your hook through and behind that stitch. This is called a back post stitch because you're going behind the post of that stitch. Catch your yarn, pull it through and just wriggle it up a little bit. Just pull it up a little bit like that. 
don't do anything else. We're going to do this three times. So yarn over, go behind that stitch, the same stitch, pull your yarn through. So we've got one, two, three, four, five stitches on the hook. Yarn over, go behind the stitch one more time, pull your yarn through. Now put your yarn over your hook and you're going to pull that yarn through all of these stitches. Just pull it through like that and then crochet one stitch and that's you got your first puff stitch. I'll show you again in a minute because we're going to do more. So we've got the next one, we're just going to the next space, we're just going to do a treble crochet in here in this next space between these two here. So yarn over through that space and finish your treble. So now we're going to do a puff stitch again. So every second one we're going to do this puff stitch. So yarn over, we're going behind the next stitch, behind the post, put your yarn over your hook and pull through. Leave it on the hook, give it a little wriggle. Yarn over, behind the stitch, the same stitch. That's twice. Yarn over and behind that stitch again and pull your yarn through. Yarn over your hook and pull through all of those stitches and then just crochet one. So what you've got now is you've got your little chain that's your first stitch, a puff stitch, a treble, then a puff stitch. So now we're going to do a treble. So in between these next two, that's your puff stitch one. So in between there, we're going to do a treble. And we're going to do this eight times. So you should end up with eight treble stitches and eight puff stitches. Like this. So you've got your puff stitch a treble, a puff stitch, one treble, a puff stitch, one treble, all going into that first circle. Put that back there so we can see what we're doing. This is the part we're doing here. So now we're going to do another puff stitch. So I'm going to out my bow. So Yarn over your hook and we're going behind this stitch here now. So in behind that stitch, yarn over, pull through, that's once, yarn over, behind the stitch, the same stitch, pull through, that's two, yarn over, behind the stitch. If you're finding it difficult, just pull it apart like that. Behind we go. Wiggle it up. Yarn over and pull through all of those stitches and crochet one. That binds it all together, that tightens it all in together and holds it in place. So our next space not that one. Make sure you don't go into that space here. You've got your stitch and we're going into this space for our treble. One treble crochet. And the next one is going to be our next puff stitch that we started with. Our three chain. One, two, three. I'm going to slip stitch into the third stitch of that chain. I can get my hook in there. And through. And that's what you've got. So you've got a puff stitch, a chain, puff stitch, 
a puff stitch, sorry, a puff stitch, your treble, a puff stitch, a treble, a puff stitch, treble, all the way around. And we should have eight puff stitches. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the next round, we're going to increase. So we're going to do a treble, chain three, sorry, that counts as your first treble. Now at the side of this puff stitch, we're going to put a treble into this hole here. So this is our increase. Each row you do, you start with one treble, your next row will have two trebles, the next one will have three trebles, the next one will have four, and that's how you get that space. So your first one's got one treble, then you've got two, then you've got three, and then you've got four, and I went up to five. And that puts that nice, almost like cake slices, on the top. So that counts as my first treble. That's my second one. That's your chain. Your chain of three is your first treble, my second treble. Now I'm going to go behind this puff stitch. Can you see this puff stitch, this whole stitch? I'm going to go in that hole and come out this side. So yarn over. So three times we're going to do this behind this puff stitch. So pull your yarn through, yarn over, behind that stitch, pull through, yarn over, go right behind that puff stitch, pull through. So we're going right through to the back, we're going right through to the back and pulling it through, through your stitches and your chain one. So that is starting this this part going up like that. So in here we've got two spaces, so we're going to do two trebles, one in each space, two treble crochet, one crochet, one treble crochet in each space, and one in there, like that. And again, we're going to go behind this puff stitch. We're going to make another puff stitch behind this one. So yarn over and you're going right through and just weave it behind like this. Catch your yarn, pull it through, keep it on the hook. Yarn over behind that stitch, pull through. That clicking noise you can hear is Motley walking about my floor. And there we go. It's the third time. Come right through all of those stitches and chain one. And again, we've got our two spaces. So we're going to do our treble in each of those spaces. So it's two trebles, a puff, two trebles and a puff. All the way around your hat. My two, I've already got my two treble stitches here. So all I need to do is a slip stitch into the top of that chain. That's the chain we began with. Now I'm going to do a slip stitch through and through that one. And that finishes that round and as you can see it's beginning to take shape we've still got eight one two three four five six seven eight and we've got two trebles in between now the next row i'll have three trebles in between because as you see we've got now got three holes so that's your three trebles a puff stitch three trebles puff stitch you'll put three trebles in a puff stitch and three trebles. Now that's what you do until you get up to you've got five in between each of your puff stitches. So do another, we're on two, three, four, do another three rounds. 
So another three rounds I'll bring you up to having the back that size. If you want a smaller hat, just do four rounds. Just do four rounds. Or like I said, even if you use a smaller hook again. So I'm going to do another three rounds, increasing the number of trebles in between my puff stitches. Make sure you do that puff stitch as well. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three. That becomes your first treble. I want you to put a treble into this space. A treble crochet into the next space. And then I'm going to do my puff stitch. One, yarn over, behind that stitch, two, yarn over for the third time, and through, and pull through. So you're actually putting your yarn over four times because you do that the first time anyway. So I've got three spaces. I'm going to put my three trebles in one in that space, one in that space, and one in that space. Now I'm not going into this funny little part of a stitch here at the top of the stitch, I'm going into the spaces. Now we're on our puff stitch, so yarn over behind the puff stitch, pull through, yarn over, behind the same puff stitch remember, pull through, yarn over and pull through for the third time, yarn over through all the stitches and chain one and then do your three trebles, one treble in each of the three spaces. So I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. I'll zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to put a treble stitch all the way around the edge of this, the back of this bonnet. If you're in the USA, that's a, a double crochet. But in the UK, it's a treble crochet. So we're going to go into the spaces again, just like we did before. So I've gone all around the back of my hat with a treble crochet. What I have is, I've counted them and I've got 48 stitches. This was a chain of three here. I'm going to count one, two, three, and I'm going to slip stitch. Just pull that through and join it on to close off my little hexagon. It's more like a little hexagon type thing now. And that is that back panel done. That's that back panel there done, finished. Now I'm going to show you how to do this frill. It looks hard, but it's not. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's quite easy to do. We're going to crochet up and down these posts. So my first post is here. So I'm going to crochet five trebles down that post. I'll show you in a minute how to do it. I'm going to cross over to this one, turn my work sort of that way and we're going to crochet up. We're going to put five trebles under that post going, working up the way. Then we'll go to this one and we'll put five trebles under this post and we'll work down the way. I'll show you that in just a second. So I'll show you that now. So you start off 
with a chain of three. One, two, three. That becomes your first post of your little wavy lines. Becomes your first post. We're going to go yarn over. Just get your work as comfortable as you can. We're going to go under that post. Catch your yarn. Pull it through. Finish off the treble stitch. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. In the UK, it's a treble crochet. So yarn over again and behind that post again, put another one. So on this first one, we need four because your chain is your fifth. Your chain that you've done is your first stitch. So we've got one, two, three. Under that post again, the same post. That's four. And one more for five. You can do four if you want, but I found five seems to look really pretty like this. Now I found it easier when you're doing this one. Put your yarn over, go through, pull your stitch over, finish that crochet stitch. Now you're going to think, ooh, ooh, where am I going to go now? Just slide that stitch you made down the post. Just slide it down. And then just slightly turn your work. And I found it's easier if you just nip there. Just hold it so you can get your crochet hook in. It's a little bit fiddly. You'll find your own way to hold this. So this is our second treble on that post. Just pull your stitch down a little bit. That one's finished. Yarn over. Through two. Yarn over. Through two. I don't think I did my yarn over with that one. If you do a mistake, just pull it out and start again. So that's the post there that we're trying to catch. It is fiddly, but you will manage it. And like I said, I found it easier if you just hold the end. So that's two. This is my third treble. That's three, four, and my fifth one. So now the next post we're going to work our way down. So yarn over and go behind the post. And as you do your trebles, They'll sit on top of each other and they'll work their way down that post. That's two. Get under that post. That's three. This one's four. And this one is number five. So the next post we're doing is here. So it's yarn over and go under the post, bring your yarn through, finish your treble. Just the stitch will slide up to the top. So just remember to pull it down and then just twist your work a little bit so that you can get under that post. Put my yarn over what I end up doing is I just put my finger underneath it and try and just isolate that little post just by folding it a little bit and making it like a little hole like that so through we go this is our second one our third one 
and we're going to continue like this all the way around the back of the bonnet and that will finish off the back. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, one more is five. Just keep checking that you've got five and not four or six. So that's that one done. And now we're going to work down the way. Yarn over. It always seems to be a little bit easier to go down the way than it is to go up. So keep going behind that post and around. It's called a back post stitch as well. That's three. I should have told you that at the beginning it's called a back post stitch because you're going behind the post. I never got one, two, three, four. And five. So now we're going up the next post. So just go behind the post again for your first one. Finish your treble stitch. Just pull it down a little bit. Pull it down. Just so you've got a bit of space. Just catch your post up here at the top. And then we're going to work up that way. That's two. Three. Four, and our fifth one. So there we go. I'm going to just shade that a little bit so you can see it. It's quite sunny. So there we are. That is how you make that little wavy line. And you're going to go up and down, work up the way, and work back the way on a back post stitch. It's called a back post stitch. So we'll come down that one, up that one, down that one, all the way around your bonnet. So it'll look like this. It'll look like this. So we're going to join it to this part here to complete our little circle. All you do is that very first chain of three that we've done, I'm going to count one, two, three stitches up here. I'm going to push my hook through the top of that chain of three, pull your yarn through and just slip it through that stitch and that will complete your little circle. Now I'm just going to it's a lot easier just to cut my yarn and pull it through. I'll use a darning needle and I'll stitch I'll stitch that in around there. And that is the back of your little bonnet. And it's really, really pretty. And a nice little wavy line. Up and down, up and down. Now if you make a mistake and you do an up instead of a down, it'll look it'll look like that. It'll look kind of twisted. And you'll see if you've made any mistakes on it. We need to pick up an odd number of stitches on this. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to start where I finish. Where did I finish? I finished down here on this one. So I'm going to start right here. Get that round the right way. To find my stitch. And my stitch is in there. So there's my stitch there. Just 
assist. So I'm just going to put my yarn on and pull it through that stitch. Drop the tail end and pull through. So there we go. Now I'm going to put a row of single crochet. I'm going to pick up all these stitches with a single crochet row. So you don't do your yarn over. You just go under here, catch a yarn, pull it through, yarn over and through. That's one. Go to the next one, pull through, yarn over and pull through. We're going to do this all the way around the hat. And I should be able to pick up 49 stitches all the way around my hat. So I'll do that and I'll come back when I'm back to the beginning here. It's a little bit difficult to see. But that's my little single crochet line all the way around and back to the beginning into this first stitch if I can catch that first part of it just pull my yarn through and pull through and that's me done my first row around like that and that's what keeps the hat the back of it flat around the back you'll be able to fix it all once we've got round and done it it will get a little bit squashed as we're holding it so now what I'm going to do is the blanket that we made that we're making this bonnet to match it had a row of double crochet a row of treble crochet and a row of a double treble crochet so I'm going to do one full round of treble crochet all the way around my hat So once I've done that, I'll come back and show you what we're going to do next. So I finished that row of the treble crochet and I'm just going to join it to the top of that chain of three. Put my hook through, catch my yarn through that stitch and right through that stitch so that's that done now we're going to do a treble or now we're going to do a double treble crochet stitch we need to crochet four we need to crochet four i'm going to move that out the road a little bit we need to do a chain of four one two three four now when we have finished this row we're not going to connect it we're not going to connect it because we're now doing this open part we're doing this open part for the baby's neck and this is what we're doing so this is the stitch that i've just done that's hidden underneath here and that's our double treble stitches we're going to go all the way around but when we do the next row, we're going to go back the way. We're going to work back and forward and keep that back neck open. So to do this stitch here, it's a double treble stitch. And in the USA, that's just called a treble stitch in the USA. And to do that, I've done my chain of four. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my hook twice and then I'm going to go into this space here just go right into the space that's what I did for my little pattern so you yarn over and pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and we've got two double trebles so yarn over yarn over again it looks like you've got three stitches go through that space go through the space 
in that row, through two, yarn over, through two stitches, yarn over, and through two stitches. It disappeared a wee bit there. So wrap your yarn around your hook twice into the next space. You can go into the top of your chain if you want, but I think it's more compact going into the space. Yarn over and through two, yarn over, through two, yarn over and through two. Twice around my hook, into the next space and finish that double treble. So this will be the weaving spaces for the ribbon like we've done on the blanket. Make sure when you count them at the end you've got an odd number. You need an odd number to wrap. You want to be able to wrap your ribbon around the last post and stitch it in. So all your stitching's on the inside of your hat or on the wrong side of the blanket. So I'm going to work my way right around my little bonnet with this double treble stitch to I get to here, all the way around. So I finished my row of double treble crochets. I've still got an odd number of stitches. Now, I'm not going to join this because we're doing the V for the neck of the baby. So this is what we've got so far. Now that is the pattern repeat just the same as the blanket. We do a double crochet, a treble crochet and a double treble crochet row. Now I want you to repeat that three times. Three times I'll give you a hat sort of this size. I know I've got the fluff in the way but I've repeated that another twice so it gives me three so now I've got the body of the hat done. I've done three repeats of the pattern that we did for the baby blanket. What I also did was I crocheted one last final row of treble crochets. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put this back post wavy line on to this one. I'm just going to work my way down and up and down and up and I'll work my wave across that way so it actually sits on the front but at the top of the hat like this one and then we'll put our fluff on the back of it. We'll add a ribbon as well and it was the third part of the ribbon that I've put into here that becomes the tie to go around the baby's neck. So all you have to do, so all you have to do is start doing the trebles and we'll go behind the post all the way along and this one's going to have the ribbon on it. So with this one it's going to be chain three one, two, and three. I'll zoom in a little bit. And that becomes your first stitch, your first treble. Yarn over, and we're going to just go around the post like this one. Because this is the very edge, this one's quite easy. That's four. Count your count your chain of three. One, two, three, and four, and five. So we've came down that post. Now we need to go up this one. I'm just going to slightly turn my work. Just keep turning the work so it's nice and comfortable for you. So yarn over and we're going to go 
behind the post, pull your yarn through and finish your treble stitch. And I'm just going to hang on to it because there's the back of the post, it's like a little hole. So that's one we've done. This one's two, three, four, and five. So that one's going down that way now. So we're going to kind of twist our little hat. So we're going to go up this one. So we've came down that one and we're going to go up that one. We'll slightly turn it and come down the next post. Slightly turn it again and go work up there. So we're going to go behind this one. Just like that. You can just grip it. Oops. <laughs> you can just grip it. And we're going to do five down this way. Under that same post of that stitch and it's called a treble back post stitch so I've got one two three four and five so we'll slightly turn it again just give it a little twist see that's going up that way and as I work up or down and up these posts just like we did for this part here all the way around to the end and that'll form our band around the front of the bonnet so this is what my hat looks like i've got this little zigzag frill finished I've got a couple of pieces of my ribbon in. This one I've got in to tie around the baby's neck. I've still got one piece to put in. I've got that here. And I've also got a little piece of this fluffy marabou. You don't need to put this in. And you just hand stitch that around the edge. Or you can put it around the bottom like that it's up to you how you decorate your hats so to put the ribbon in i've got my double-sided satin ribbon and remember i kept telling you to have an odd number of stitches and here's why it's so you can fold your ribbon over it's so you can fold the ribbon over that end post and stitch it in and on this side and a few little stitches just to hold that in place but make sure it's secure and I did the same with the hat here I put a few stitches in the hat here just to make sure that's really secure and the same at that side because it is for a baby and you don't want any hazard whatsoever with a baby you don't want it to be able to pull maybe if it's a little bit older to pull that out so make sure that all your ribbon is secure on and the same if you put the marabou flip on make sure it's securely stitched in place so all we do to put the last piece of ribbon in it's going into this section here we do I'm going over and under that way I've got that post to wrap my ribbon around like I did here on this one. So it's over and under, over and under, and then pull your ribbon through. We'll just straighten it up as we go along, save a bit of time. Even if it does go a little bit squishy in like this, you just may have to fiddle with it to get it all nice and neat. So just thread your ribbon all the way around your hat. Don't do it too tight. You need to be able, I'll straighten all that out once I've done it. 
If you do it too tight, you won't be able to get it on the baby's head properly. So like this one, you need you need a little bit of giving it. So when I put my ribbon in, I've gave it a little stretch before I stitched it down so that I know when it goes over the baby's head, it's going to stretch along with the hat. The baby hat, all finished. I did put the marabou trim around the edge. Now, this is the back of the baby bonnet, and this is the sides with the same ribbon and pattern as the blanket. And isn't that absolutely beautiful? Now, if you follow the video, then you should be able to make this as well. And once you've made one, believe me, you'll be making lots more. Even if you learn how to do the back, and then you can put your own stitches in the body, it's up to you. You don't need to put this on. You don't need to put that on. It was just as pretty without the fluff. But I think it lifts it a little bit. And when you put it with the blanket, isn't that a really pretty, pretty set? Now, the blanket is on another tutorial that you'll find on my channel. And this is a little bonnet. Now, I hope to bring some more videos on the bonnets, how to do different bonnets. I'm going to do different ones just to show you that there's a huge variation on what you can do. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just click on the button down below there that says subscribe. It is free to subscribe to the channel. You don't need to pay anything to, to subscribe to the channel at all. Click on that little bell as well. There's a little bell there. And any time I post a video, you'll be notified that there's a video to watch that I've just made. So I hope you give this a try. If you need any help, then just send me a little message. I'll do the best I can to help. If you want, you can slow the video down. There's a little setting there. And it says, when you click on it, it says speed. And you can turn the speed of the video down. So you can crochet along if you want. Or if you need to see that double treble stitch in a little bit more detail. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.